The issue that I have is that when someone opens their hot water in the kitchen or the dishwasher is turned on and someone is taking a shower here, I lose completely the hot water for a little bit of time and okay. then it takes a while to come back. We've heard this complaint before. Let me jump in here and turn the water on. You can go to the kitchen and just open up the hot water faucet. Let's see sure. what you got. All right. I did. All right, Manuela, open up the hot water faucet full, please. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's getting colder. Okay, close it. All right. Good. It definitely got cold. Let me run and grab a few tools. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so first we're going to remove the handle right here. There's a little cover plate that will expose a screw. Hold the handle. Turn counterclockwise. Okay, now there's a cover plate right here with two additional screws, and once we loosen those, the plate should come off. So there's the second one. Now, you've got a fair amount of caulking right here, so before I pry it, I'm just going to score it with a knife. Okay. Okay. All right, so here is our single lever shower valve. There's a hot and there's a coal pipe that come in here. This goes down to the spout. This goes up to the shower head. Now, sometimes there are shut off valves right inside. They're called service valves. That we can shut it off so we shut off just the fixture. You don't have them, so it means I'm going to go to the basement and turn the hot and the cold off. Okay. All right, so the water is off, and now we're going to take you through what's going on here. So this thing is a single lever valve that really only has one serviceable part, the cartridge, which sits right inside the valve body here. And you know, even though the tile looks like it was done in the 80s, I think this valve was original to the house. How old was this house? 1964. 64. I mean, that's 50 or 60 years that this cartridge has been sitting inside of this valve body. So that's the challenge for me, how to get this thing out. So it starts with a little clip right here. I'm going to pry that clip. Up. That came easy. Good. Don't lose it in the wall. That wouldn't be good. The challenge is to get this cartridge out. And the cartridge has been jammed into this valve body for all these years. So I'm afraid that if I just tried to pull it this way with pliers, I could break it and leave parts inside the wall. And that would be a mess. You'd have to do the whole shower valve. So they make a special tool that has a pair of shoulders on the tool that correspond to the matching shoulders on the cartridge itself. So I fit it right in here, and then I want to twist. And what I'm trying to do is to break that O-ring seal that's been crusting up for the last 50, 60 years. All right, so that's released. So now I take a pair of pliers and hopefully pull it straight out this way. So. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. There it is. Good. All right. That has not seen the light of day in about half a century. At least, yeah. All right. Now, if this house had been built about 10 years earlier, it probably wouldn't even have had a single lever valve. It would have had a three valve. Hot handle here, cold handle here, a handle in the middle to determine if the water went down to the spout or up to the shower head. But the modern single lever valve was such a convenience. It was such a cool thing to add because it had a single handle. You could pull it on and off. You could turn it. So the way this cartridge works, it sits inside the valve body in this constant hot supply at this port right here, cold to the port on the other side. Now, when you pull the handle back, watch what happens. You see how there's a hole that lets some of the hot come into this chamber and come out through these holes out to the shower head. But when you turn the handle, it makes less hot, makes more hot, and you can constantly precisely mix inside this chamber. But this convenience piece didn't change the fact that it didn't take into account changes in pressure. So that means if you had a drop in cold water pressure when the toilet got flushed, hot would come in and scald people. Or in your case, what did you have? You had a drop in hot water pressure and now the cold came in. And this didn't change it. So nowadays, this type of valve body, this basic valve in here, is no longer even legal. By code, we have to have a valve body that has a device inside of it called a pressure balancing device. And that pressure balancing device will constantly adjust for changes in pressure to make consistent temperature come out of the shower head. 
This manufacturer realized they had all this inventory of valves inside the wall. So what they did is they went back to the drawing board and redesigned the inside of this cartridge and changed the size and geometry of the openings on both the hot and the cold side to try and get the size of the ports proportional to each other as you change them to try and reduce the amount of pressure balance issues. It's not going to fully fix it, but this cartridge can improve dramatically this performance. So what we're going to do is to put a little bit of grease on it, not too much on the O-rings. And a little retainer clip. I'm going to set a foam bead into some wet caulking for a watertight seal. Then we can reinstall the trim. And now the handle. All right, water is back on. Why don't you go into the bathroom and run the shower, and I okay. will turn on the hot water from here. We'll give it a test. Okay. All right, I'm going to open up here. Still hot. That's a good thing. Again? Yep, still hot. All right, you're all set then. OK. Great. That new cartridge can make quite the difference. Yeah, thank you so much for your help. You know, I will take any excuse to come to Seattle. Anytime. All right. It's nice that they make a part that keeps a 40-year-old valve in service. Right. Otherwise, she might have needed a full bathroom model. Right. So it's great. So, but they made a lot of improvements on the modern shower valve over at Manuelis. So here, it looks very similar. You've got hot, you've got cold right here. You've got uh, a, the control spindle right here. This is where you handle. So the tub right. showers in That's this direction. Right. Yep. But you'll see, let me tip it over here. Oh, okay. cut away, huh? So first, on a modern shower valve, it's great to see this. These are shutoff valves so that you can do for service on the valve, uh, and it's really important. And they also have a thing called a check inside here, mm -hmm. and that actually helps if you ever had a chance of hot going this way or cold going the other way, so uh, it'll stop it. The water can come by it and push it up, but when it tries to go back, that right. little black nub stops right. it. Right. Cool. So here's the spindle, but the addition is this. It's called a balancing spool right here. So let me pull this out, okay? Mm -hmm. And when I do, listen. Oh, something in there, okay. sliding around. Right. Inside of it. Wait a second, a <laughs> cutaway of a cutaway? <laughs> so here's your cold water port right here. Here's your hot water port. So now if the, balance, the pressure in the system, in the house itself, is in balance on either side of this valve, it looks just like this. Cold is coming into the top, right here. hot is coming into right. the bottom. And those holes are wide open. Mm. So now, let's say you flush a toilet. That means the cold water pressure would drop. That means, in this case, the hot water pressure would be stronger and would push this thing this uh. way. And what would it do? It would close off the hot and increase the cold to keep them in balance. Yeah. And then sort of the vice versa Absolutely. Would work. You, you drop in hot water pressure, cold water wins, and it keeps it in balance perfectly. And so this just goes back and forth, back and forth, all the time, constantly adjusting the pressure in the system. Wow. And so, so you would, in that case, you'd feel the pressure drop because less right. water be coming through, right. but you wouldn't feel a temperature change. That's right. This thing only controls the pressure, the actual the temperature is controlled by that same spindle because here's the hot going this way and here's the cold going this way and it's only in this spindle that you control temperature. This is pressure, this is temperature. Now here's your hot and cold side and it would constantly give you just a perfect precise temperature. Wow, that's amazing. Simple little device but what a huge improvement. So brilliant. It changes everything. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.